Welcome to the Borns T-Series GDT Product Training Module. This product training module introduces the T-Series fast-acting gas discharge tubes. A fast-acting GDT may be defined by its impulse spark-over limit of 5 kV 1.2 microsecond rise time, 50 microsecond fall time waveform. We'll review the operation of the T-Series fast-acting GDT and TBU high-speed protector product offerings, target markets, and solutions. By the end of this product training module, we hope you'll have a better understanding of the operation of the T-Series fast-acting GDTs and TBU high-speed protectors, and the benefits of these products in typical applications. Borns delivers the most comprehensive line of circuit protection technology and solutions in the industry. At our engineering centers in California, USA, Heredia, Costa Rica, Bedford, UK, Lingkau, Taiwan, and Zuzenberg, Slovenia, we design a full range of over-voltage and over-current protection technologies. Borns offers world-class technology and applications expertise as the result of many years of circuit protection engineering, design, and support. Born's global reputation for extensive applications knowledge, quality products, innovative protection strategies, and a wide range of technologies ensures that we can provide the right circuit protection solution for your needs. Depending on the customer's requirements for low-cost circuit protection versus the transient threat level, choosing the right protection level at the design phase can bring significant savings down the line. Shown here is an example of a basic overvoltage and overcurrent protection scheme used for a typical data port. The TBU High Speed Protector, HSP, is placed in series to limit the I.O. current. The placement of a T-series fast-acting GDT, OVP2, on the external port protects the TBU HSP and the circuit from excessive voltage after the TBU HSP operates for the duration of the lightning surge. The T-Series fast-acting GDT is designed to operate at an impulse voltage less than the maximum operating voltage of the TBU HSP, thus protecting it from damage. While the OVP2 device may provide minimum ESD protection for the TBU HSP, the OVP1 device, usually a small TVS diode, sets the overvoltage protection threshold for the system. The OVP1 device can provide ESD protection to the downstream circuit, but could also be incorporated in the protected circuit. Applications where the protected signal line also delivers power, AC or DC, will require more sophisticated engineering. Borns has developed the T-Series fast-acting GDT products to work in conjunction with the TBU high-speed protectors. Exceeding the peak impulse withstand voltage of the TBU HSP can cause damage to the TBU HSP. The T-Series fast-acting GDTs are designed to specifically limit the voltage overshoot associated with fast-rising transients, thus protecting the TBU HSP from damage. The TBU HSP and T-Series fast-acting GDT together provide a coordinated over-voltage and over-current protection solution that greatly limits the level of damaging energy let-through that can occur with conventional protection schemes. Here is an overview of the three series which make up the T-Series fast-acting GDT family. The model 2031-XXT-SM is a two-electrode surface mount GDT providing line-to-line -line or line-to-ground protection for any number of applications. The model 2020-XXT is a three-electrode through-hole GDT, providing line-to-line -line and line-to-ground protection for applications requiring GR-1089 or ITU-TK.20 compliance. The optional fail-safe mechanism further ensures compliance to UL requirements. The model 2030-XXT-SM is a three-electrode surface mount GDT, providing line-to-line -line and line-to-ground protection and the surface mount configuration supports automated board level assembly. All T-Series part numbers are designed to be used with specific TBU HSP part numbers, thus taking the guesswork out of determining which GDT will provide the correct and coordinated over-voltage protection for the TBU high-speed protector. The TBU high-speed protector is a silicon-based solid-state resettable device which is placed in series with a signal path. 
The TBU HSP operates in approximately one microsecond once the line current exceeds the TBU HSP trigger current, or I trigger. When operated, the TBU HSP restricts line current to less than one milliamp typically and the TBU HSP will block all system voltages and any other voltages including the surge up to rated limits. After the surge, the TBU HSP resets when the voltage across the TBU HSP falls to the V reset level. The TBU HSP will automatically reset on lines that have no DC bias or have DC bias below V reset, such as unpowered signal lines. If the line has a normal DC bias above V-Reset, the voltage across the TBU HSP may not fall below V-Reset after the surge. In such cases, special care needs to be taken to ensure that the TBU HSP will reset. Otherwise, an automatic or manual power down will be required. Manufacturers of GDT devices specify their products based on ITU K.12, where impulse voltage is typically specified at a 1 kilovolt per microsecond rate of rise. The T-Series fast-acting GDT is specified using a 5 kilovolt per microsecond rate of rise, which is five times faster than the GDT specified per the typical industry standard. To illustrate the differences in performance over industry standard GDTs, Two T-Series GDTs model 2020-XXT and 2031-XXT-SM are compared to an industry standard GDT with similar DC breakdown specifications. The T-Series GDT in this example is specifically designed to protect the model TBU-CA085-XXX-WHTBU-HSP, which has a V-impulse rating of 850 volts. Voltages above the V-impulse rating of the TBU HSP can cause damage. When exposed to a very fast rising 5 kV per microsecond impulse, the T-Series GDT limits impulse voltages to levels below V-impulse of the TBU HSP, thus protecting it from damage. The enhanced impulse performance of the T-Series GDT will protect the TBU HSP in many of the harshest transient environments. The impulse speed of the TBU HSP is shown here, where the reaction time on the green current line shows a limit response of 100 nanoseconds with a duration of 800 nanoseconds. A key feature of the TBU HSP here is the low 100 nanojoule let through energy that passes through to the downstream circuitry. This low energy signal provides opportunities for IC designers to design smaller ICs with lower energy dissipation. As circuit protection is a critical parameter in some markets and applications, here is a list of some possible applications that could use the TBU HSP and T-Series fast-acting GDT devices offering superior circuit protection. In the telecom market, Born's extensive product portfolio offers the complete circuit protection solution to required standards in T1E1 interface, VDSL, and integrated voice data ports. Here are further industrial application examples showing the combination of TBU high-speed protectors and T-Series fast-acting GDT products, ensuring that high surge protection standards are met. For the industrial market, the combination of TBU high-speed protectors and T-Series fast-acting GDT products ensures that high surge protection standards are met, while data transmission rates are also maintained. The key advantage of using a T-Series fast-acting GDT with a TBU HSP is that Borns has taken the guesswork out of over-voltage and over-current protection by providing an integrated protection solution designed to meet the requirements of any number of telecom and industrial applications. Borns offers a wide variety of sales and support tools. Born's field application engineers, capable of supporting your protection interface design needs, are also available. Please contact Born's at techweb at borns.com for questions concerning T-Series fast-acting GDT and TBU high-speed protector products.